Professor Panko here, and as you can see, we have a XY Fates Clyde Elite Trainer Box. Cause I am crazy! Alright, I totally love these Elite Trainer Boxes. I blame everything on Vidimac, who bought me my first Elite Trainer Box uh, uh, with Phantom Forces, and, and uh, I have just been addicted to them ever since. Um, so it's got 8 uh, Pokemon TCG uh, booster packs, it's got 65 card sleeves, 45 energy cards, a nice player's guide for the Fates Collide expansion, 6 damage counter dice, 1 coin, 2 acrylic markers, and the collector's box to hold everything with the dividers, and of course the TCG online code. So that is super amazing, so let's get this up and let's hope that we get some amazing things out of Fates Collide. All right, the Fates Collide Elite Trainer Box. So, as with all Elite Trainer Boxes, we have a super cool little poster, and I'm sorry for the terrible camera of all the pack art. So we're just gonna go ahead and plop that right there to be a little backdrop for our uh, card opening. We have this beautiful player's guide. Got some peeking stuff for the set and tells you all about it and and whatnot and such and such. And we have this box. And she loved my descriptive terms. I totally script all of this. All right, so Fates Collide box. We'll pull it out here. We have our recycling pieces. Da -da 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 -da. And then we've got this like funky purple color as I can't get the pieces out. We have this funky purple color. So we've got these funky purple sleeves, which I do have to say I'm absolutely in love with. Um, they're really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that they actually did a Mega Alakazam. Do you think it's weird that he has five spoons? But that's kind of Alakazam's thing. We've got all of our nice pack of energy cards. Eventually, someday, I shall use those um, in the ducks I keep telling myself that I'm actually going to play with someday. So we have our uh, um, uh, dividers. There we go. See, I'm just in a description scene. Oh my god, I love these dice. So with the light purple and dark purple, these officially are my favorite dice. Oh, purple's my favorite color, just so you guys know. We have our acrylic markers. And then we have what you all came here for, the beautiful card packs. Bum, bum, bum. We have Lugia, Zygarde in 100% form. <laughs> we got Alakazam and he looks like he's like strung out or something. And then we have Delphox Break. So and we've got one of each of the packs, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this beautiful Lugia Break. Um, oh, that was a, a fail opening. So I'm gonna give out a couple code cards during this video. I do give, I do collect the code cards myself, but I always try to give them out a little bit when I am doing a booster box opening. So there you go. Try to only take one code. That would be nice. Um, yeah. So we go one, two, three, one, two. So these are random packs. So you're not really guaranteed to get anything. I have opened a couple booster boxes where I haven't gotten any X, but let's be lucky. Let's hope we're lucky. So we have the seal, bronzor, cottony, bermary, larvitar, Opterius spirit link, a dome fossil. We've got a wormadam. We have the Reverse Riolu and our rare Aerodactyl. And I love that Aerodactyl. I love that he's just like on that landscape being all like, ah, what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? That's exactly what he's saying. You just totally know it. So we're gonna go ahead and just keep that there. All right, Fate's Glad. Let's hope Zyga gives us some love. Um, since these are actually the first packs I'm opening of the set, I have tried not to watch too many card openings. I like to, you know, give myself a chance to really get to know the set before I start really spoiling it. Um, but it's, it's kind of exciting for me to get to open open it live with you. Um, even did this before my, before my booster box. So Snivy, Solosis, Gothita, Inchino, Whimsor, Energy Pouch. Ooh, we got the special strong energy. Who saw that coming? Cincino. And oh, we have our first break card. We have the Delphox break. So I'm gonna say like Delphox break, period in a sentence, makes this an amazing card. A pack. 
So, Flare Witch, once during your turn before you attack, you may search your deck for a fire energy card and attach it to one of your Pokemon and shuffle your deck afterwards. So that's pretty cool. And we have a regular rare Mandibuzz. Oh wow, that's super awesome. So yeah, a break card. So I would say like, cause my luck with the break cards in the very first set was so terrible that I would say like now that I know, or now that I've gotten one, I'm like, I'm sad. That's, that's, that's it. That's probably going to be as many as I get. <laughs> so they, they seem to be really hard to pull. Uh, I don't actually know the ratios. I don't really pay attention to things like that. So we have a Larvitar, a Carbink, a Jigglypuff, a Riolu, a Snubble, an Energy Reset, a Pupitar, a Wormadam, a Revose for Olu again, so that's not good luck, Durr, grr, grr. And, oh, but we do have a Hollow Lucario. So maybe it was just telling me that I need to use that that in a in a, in a a deck. Yeah, that's, that's totally it. And you know, you got the Alakazam in the background there being like, oh, I'm going to get you. Okay, that was a little, that was a little weird. I'm just trying, trying to be entertaining while opening card. But what is with this, like, like they're opening these so terrible, like, Starting to use cheap tinfoil or <laughs> what exactly is this? Nintendo? Gosh. Um, so here we go. And one, two, three, one, two. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right, we've got a uh, camera not focusing. Look at my beautiful hand. There we go. We've got coughing, spoink, minchino, diglet, a larvitar, a Dugong. I think I just have to pull. An N trainer card. I love N. A Helix Fossil Almanite. Ooh, a reverse a Dino, Mega Dino Spirit Link, which is so cool looking. And we've got that regular rare Aerodactyl again. I still think that is just a beautiful artwork. Kind of wish that was in uh, a hollow form. That would definitely be good. A reverse of it would also be quite nice. So like that pack just came completely apart. So let's uh, give a code. Hope we get some luck out of getting this code. Doo -doo -doo. But as I said, getting that break card, getting that break, or Del breaks in, Del Fox break. You know what I want to keep saying breaks in is because of the, because of the, the fighting game, right? As they used breaks in. Minchino, a Ziglet, a Larvitar, Carbink, Burmery, a Wormadum, a Pupita, a Duong. A Tyranitar Hollow, and no oh, Reverse Hollow, and a Barnacle Rare. Well, that's kind of cool that we're getting rid of all, like we're getting a, like a couple rares. You know, getting them out of the way. You know, making room for all those yuckas. So that's that's good. That's good. Come on, like I'm gotta stay positive. Gotta stay positive. So one, two, three, one, two. All right. So here we go. We've got a Riolu. That was my dog sneezing in the back. <laughs> And Mr. Pranko trying to keep her quiet. Deerling, that's so cute. I think that's uh, summer form. Jigglypuff, Gothita, a Meowth, that's right. An Ultra Ball, a Shauna, a Servine, which is really cool. Ooh, that's a nice. That is a reverse hollow of a Kangaskhan. And look at it, just like, oh, it's got Tiny Punch. That's so cute. And that's a rare reverse. And oh, we've got our first EX card, and it's Alakazam. Oh my gosh, look at that go. He's so badass. Look at him. Oh wow. I love it. I love it. He's got Kinesis. When you play a Mega Alakazam from your hand to evolve this Pokemon, uh, before it evolves, you may put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon and three counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That is a really good ability. Kinesis for the win. Oh, that is so cool. So you know what? We got a break. Uh, we got a break and an EX. I think it's worth it to pick up the, this box if you haven't decided to already. That's definitely something you should check out. Oh my gosh. Um, I definitely love, as I said, the Elite Trainer boxes. It's it's just, it's nice, like I'm really into the collectibles. There's very few I don't actually have. So we're gonna do a cut. I'm in, but there's our carving, our Deerling, our Minchino, our Bronzor, whoop. Our Snubble, hiding under the table there after breaking stuff. Alexam Spirit Link. Our Mega Catcher. 
a Wigglytuff, our Meowth, ooh, and our Zygarde. Oh, that's ooh, totally cool. That's an awesome rare. Very happy to have a Zygarde rare. And I believe this is the 50% form or something like that. I wonder if those will actually come into play in the game. I find it really interesting that they decided to do it in the, um, uh, in the TCG, but not in the game, mind you. I guess that shouldn't surprise me, but it's really interesting. So yeah, we've got that Riolu. I think I'll be seeing a lot of that one. A Volibi, a Cuffing, ah, a Spoink, a Diglett, a Cincino, Shauna, good reprint card, Servine. Oh, wow, we got a Carbank break. We got two break cards, guys. That is awesome. Look at that gold. I love the shine in the back. That's great. And our last card is a regular Reuniclus, a regular rare Reuniclus. So you know what? That is amazing. I was not expecting to get two break cards. Um, I always complained about that very first time that I opened uh, the sets with the break cards in it and it didn't uh, work out. But now we'll look at this. Look at the luck. So Elite Trainer Box, uh, out of eight packs, we got we got uh, three really, really great cards and, and definitely uh, are starting to get that set done. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out all of my other card opening videos as well as the shiny Pokemon videos that I have. And I hope all of your Pokemon shine.